The glass break detector listens to the pitch and frequency of breaking glass in a room. Correct. And it's activated typically during away mode. That's the default. Okay. So when you arm your system uh, in away mode, which means you're leaving the house and you're not going to be there anymore, then it's going to start listening for that breaking glass. You can, however, as an option, uh, change it so that it is armed during stay mode. There are some people who like to say, hey, I want that glass break detector to be protecting me while I sleep or while we're home, you know, cooking, cleaning, doing whatever it is, you know, throughout the day. Um, so you can program it that way, but by default, it's away mode only. The glass break detector also communicates wirelessly to the panel using 319.5, 345, or 433 frequency. Correct. And those are all the legacy frequencies that are in the market. Um, if you want to install a brand new glass break detector, uh, we highly recommend doing one that has encryption on it using S-Line or PowerG. Uh, just to make sure that the customer is protected against those cyber attacks that could happen. And then, of course, when installing the glass break detector, we should do it close to windows. Yeah, right? I mean, it's got a range of about 15 to 25 feet, uh, depending on the room. It's it's working off of pitch and frequency, so you do want to make sure that you know it's in the vicinity. It doesn't have to be right next to it necessarily. You can see this glass break detector here is going to detect pretty much all the windows in this room. But it's not as good as the human ear. It's not going to work on windows that are in the other parts of the house. Great. And how could a sales rep sell this to an end user? Well, I think one thing to do is to make people really aware um, of the potential dangers of an intrusion. Most people, if they're going to break in, are going to break in through a door. We know that. Uh, right. Statistics have shown that. But in the event that they are going to break through a window, they're typically not going to force the window open. That's hard to do that. What they'll often do is smash the window, use their crowbar or other you know object to clear out all the glass, okay and then they'll throw like a blanket or a towel or something like that and crawl on through. If you have a window sensor on that window, it never opened and therefore never went off. So to protect against that type of intrusion, uh, the moment that glass is broken the very first time, the glass break detector would pick up and set off the alarm.